Welcome to our Language Cert Young Learners ESOL exams. Language Cert Young Learners ESOL is a set of two English language qualifications at introductory levels. Fox at pre A1 level and Owl at A1 level. Let's look at Fox. Fox was specifically created for younger candidates from 7 to approximately 12 years of age. It aims to motivate learners to improve their English skills, encourage them and at the same time also measure their level, even at this very early stage of language acquisition. Fox presents candidates with age-appropriate topics and all sections of the exam include colourful illustrations. Assessment during the spoken exam is achieved by means of brief role-playing and short conversations. Candidates take two exams, the written and the spoken exams and are awarded two separate certificates. These cover all four language skills, listening, reading, writing and speaking. FOX is a child-friendly exam which consists of fun tasks and aims to help young learners progressively become familiar with the formal examination process. Exams are on demand and can be taken at any Language Cert approved test centre. Exam sessions can be booked in two to ten business days. The exam is delivered in paper-based format in Language Cert approved test centres. To help prepare candidates, free examination preparation material is available and downloadable from our website. You will find practice papers, a vocabulary list, a grammar syllabus, assessment guidelines and a mark sheet for speaking practice marking. FOX is also a great way to reward achievement as every candidate receives a certificate. The certificate, which is child-friendly, shows a number of FOXs indicating the candidate's performance in the skills tested. The certificate is co-branded. The name of the test centre appears at the top of the certificate along with the Language Cert logo. The written exam consists of three components, listening, reading and writing. The listening exam consists of three tasks, all heard twice. There are 15 items in total and, in terms of question types, candidates are required to answer multiple choice questions with three options provided each time, as well as matching questions. Part 1 consists of five multiple choice items, such as the item on this slide, and asks the candidate to look at the pictures provided and tick the one referred to each time. An example is provided. Part 2 requires the candidate to listen to five statements and to draw a line to match a visual with a name. An extra distractor is provided. So, there will be six visuals to choose from to match with the five names given. An example is also provided here. Part 3 requires the candidate to read five questions. 
to listen to five statements and to answer the questions with a name or a number. Two examples are provided to guide the candidate. Part three concludes the listening section of the exam and the overall duration of the listening component is 10 minutes. The reading component has four tasks and a total of 20 items. Candidates are required to answer multiple choice questions, each providing three options. Tick or cross questions and gap filling questions. Part one requires candidates to look at five visuals and draw a line to match with a word. Two extra distractors are provided, so candidates are provided with seven words but only five visuals. An example is always given to guide candidates. In part two, candidates look at a picture and say whether they agree or disagree with the five statements provided. They are asked to tick the statements which are true or put a cross if the statements are false. Two examples are provided. Part three requires candidates to read a short text and to fill in five gaps by choosing from seven words provided in a list. Two of the words are distractors and will not be used. An example is provided. In part four, candidates look at a picture and read five related questions. They are asked to produce one word responses, which may be, for example, a number or a colour. And two examples are provided to guide them. The writing component of Fox consists of two parts. Part 1 requires candidates to write three sentences on a given topic, while Part 2 requires them to look at a picture and produce three sentences about it. Let's see some examples. Part 1, for instance, may ask candidates to write three sentences about their home, just like the task on this slide. But candidates may be required to also write three sentences about their bedroom or their school. An example is always provided to guide candidates. Referring to part two now, candidates may be asked to look at the picture of a living room, similar to the visual on this slide, and produce three sentences about it. The picture might be about children in a living room watching television or children playing in the garden. Moving on to marking now, for all parts of the listening component, candidates are awarded one mark per correct choice or response. For the reading component, candidates are awarded one mark per correct choice or response. They are not penalized for minor spelling mistakes, such as in reading part 4, which asks them to produce a few words. In writing tasks, candidates are awarded one mark per correct sentence provided the sentences are accurate and relevant. In case of minor mistakes, such as punctuation or spelling mistakes, half a mark is subtracted. If a sentence is incomplete or irrelevant, no mark is awarded. In terms of overall marking now, candidates are awarded up to 15 marks for the listening component, 20 marks for the reading component, and 6 marks for the writing tasks. Depending on how well they do on their exam, candidates are awarded a number of foxes for each exam component and up to four foxes per skill. Having presented the three components of foxes written exam, listening, reading and writing, let's move on to the speaking exam. 
The speaking exam consists of three parts and lasts for approximately five minutes. The interview takes place between the candidate and the interlocutor, and the interlocutor is also the one who assesses the candidate's performance. Four assessment criteria are used to evaluate the candidate's oral performance. Task fulfillment, accuracy and range of grammar, accuracy and range of vocabulary, and finally, fluency and pronunciation. During part one, which lasts approximately one minute, candidates are asked three questions about themselves. The second part lasts approximately two minutes. Candidates are shown a picture card with two objects on it and are required to answer six questions about it. Finally, during part three, which lasts approximately two minutes, candidates are presented with a scene card, are asked to focus on some details and answer eight questions about them. Examples will now follow. Here's an example of questions that may be asked during part one. Candidates will initially be asked questions about their name, age, and where they live. If candidates cannot answer these questions on the left, the interlocutor will resort to backup questions on the right to elicit some language from them. Part 2 asks candidates to look at two pictures on a card and answer three questions about each one of them. The questions might be about what is in the picture, whether the candidates like it or not, or what is their favorite animal. Here on the left, you can see the questions that may be asked about the two pictures. On the right, you can see the backup questions the interlocutor may use to elicit some language from the candidates. Part 3 presents candidates with a scene card showing some kind of action, for example, children playing table tennis. Candidates are asked to look at it and answer five questions about it. Follow-up questions establishing a link between the scene card with the candidate will conclude the speaking part of the exam. On this slide, you can see, on the left, the questions the interlocutor might ask, and on the right, once again, the backup questions the interlocutor might use. If the scene card is about sports, the follow-up questions may be about the sports the candidates like playing or who they usually play with. When marking the speaking exam, Four criteria are used. Task fulfillment, which relates to the extent to which the response addresses the task in a direct manner and provides a relevant and meaningful answer. Accuracy and range of grammar, which assesses the degree to which the response is grammatically accurate, appropriate and adequate. Accuracy and range of vocabulary, which evaluates the extent to which the response is lexically accurate, appropriate and adequate. And finally, pronunciation and fluency, which assesses the degree to which the responses are intelligible with appropriate pausing and intonation. For all three parts of the speaking section, candidates collect up to four marks per criterion and can earn as much as 16 marks in total. On the right, you can see the candidate's certificate. The number of foxes reflects the candidate's performance, how well he or she did in the speaking exam. Candidates can collect the maximum of four foxes. Do take advantage of our support material while preparing your students for our Language Cert Young Learners ESOL exams. From our website, as mentioned earlier, you can download for free the following resources. Practice papers, the Fox vocabulary list, the Fox grammar syllabus, assessment guidelines, and the mark sheet for speaking practice.
Also, on our website, you will find information on publishers producing related exam preparation materials, upcoming seminars and webinars, tailor-made for our approved test centers, and also information on how to contact us for further support from our academic support team. Here's where you can contact us for more information and support material.